I make the simple point that any American business operating in Ghana today is not doing so because of LGBTQ. They are doing so because they are making a profit. And they would not leave Ghana because of LGBTQ when they look at their profit margin. And the 11th of March 2024. I'm going to be able to watch the TV show. I'm going to be able to watch the TV show because I'm going to be able to watch the TV show every day. And I'm going to be able to watch the TV show. MP for Pram Pram, Honorable Samuel Nati George. I'm going to be able to watch the TV show LGBTQ. I'm going to be able to watch the TV show. American investors, you know, and yeah, they are on the free in my muha. And I saw on the job, my juma is an LGBTQ plus bill. And if we say, I'm also young for so ever my mu. Name po so may or margin say, or muja juma, or before France, so ever baby juma or hanum say, or can same baby, mummy in timber. The West needs Ghana. The West needs Ghana. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Look, and I have made this point. When the American ambassador, Virginia Palmer, makes the case she makes, I make the simple point that any American business operating in Ghana today is not doing so because of LGBTQ. They are doing so because they are making a profit. And they would not leave Ghana because of LGBTQ when they look at their profit margin. And if they choose to pack bag and baggage and leave, another company will come in and make that profit. Ghana is a profitable country to do business in. And so we must, we must stop chipping ourselves and making it look like we have no sense of self-worth. And I, that's why I question the president's circle of friends. Because the president said he's assuring Ghana's friends. Well, they are not Ghana's friends. They are his friends. Because well, that's, my, that's uh, a Alfred, diplomatic community. Alfred, they are the friends Alfred, of Ghana, Alfred, not Alfred, the president Alfred, as an individual. Alfred, the president, the president as a former foreign affairs minister must have read Article 42 of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. Article 42 prohibits ambassadors of foreign missions in Ghana from doing what many of them are doing. Which is? What have they done? Which well? is involving themselves in local politics. But you know what? Kwame Pianim, a respected economist, says that if the IMF has to take any decision at all when it comes to this anti-LGBTQ plus bill, which you, members of parliament, have passed into law, it should be targeted at you, the MPs, for taking this decision. You should bear the brunt of whatever sanctions they would slap on Ghana because of that decision that you took. I speak for myself. I don't care. You don't care? And I've said it. Look, and I've said you, it. You're ready to bear if, the, if, the, if, the, if the you, and if the action? If any country leads a sanction on the speaker or myself or the sponsors, I would wage a campaign in this country against all their business interests. And don't, don't underestimate the power of the forces of Ghanaians when we say we will shut down those businesses. It is, look, if they want to threaten us, we'll issue threats. And I'm issuing that on your platform. If they touch the speaker or any member of parliament, we will come after their business interest he in says Ghana. says your S. Gracia should be withheld. That's one of oh. the issues that should be of concern to the Ghanaian people. Ex Gracia, you see, and someone respected senior like Kwame Penim should know that this conversation of ex Gracia is a whole conversation on his own. How much well, is the ex Gracia? You are paying, as we speak, I'm in the fourth year. Of, this, of my second term in parliament, I don't know what my salary is. So if finally the presidential well, emolument you committee... You don't, you don't know what your salary is, means you are, you are not... I don't, have, not I don't have terms of conditions. There are no terms of conditions for any member of parliament in this parliament, in the eighth parliament. We are being paid on the terms of conditions of the seventh parliament. So when they determine in, in, in maybe October what the mm -hmm. terms of conditions, the presidential emolument commission determines what the terms of conditions are, definitely nobody's salary, the law, labor act says you can't reduce somebody's salary. So definitely there will be increases. The differential is what is then lumped up over 48 months and paid to me. Is that an ex-gracia? You are paying me my salary differential. So what is this ex-gracia conversation? And that's why I think that the respected Kwame Pianim should know better than, than to... But like I said, if they think they have the power to issue threats to anybody in Ghana, they should go ahead. It's within their legitimate right. But it also is within our legitimate right for me to lead a demonstration and shut down their businesses. It will be fair, it will be quid pro quo. And they should wait and prepare for it. I will see I may count for Amo 75 travel and tours more. So person with two coin echo to our distance so they are. And your money number you go and say from money bro maso ye na or money home to see you now. Me dean at the yabro ni tofia for TV so near me that's